So today is a very late start to my video log of this project that I've been working on. You see all the scraps of the cardboard on the floor. So what I have here is I have a telescoping mechanism. Now right here you see this is just my cardboard construction of a sim, a sim motor. Um, two and a half inch diameter regular sim, not mini sim, in a tough box nano gearbox, 24 to 1 ratio, and obviously it's just the exterior of it, nothing fancy. Um, it's got a, a shaft on it, probably a key shaft in this particular scenario, though for the actual project it will likely be a hex shaft. I apologize for my bad filming. Um, we have a pulley, and this is just, this is supposed to be a bearing right in there in the actual design and that's just how it's being mounted and that'll actually be secure and this is all just for visual see now the actual mechanism here there's two of them one on either the actual mechanism here is a series of three tubes it used to be four now it's three the telescope within each other now that has been a little bit um has had a little bit of issues and i'm going to undo the let me put the camera down for real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I was just untangling this from that. All right. So the mechanism works by here. Let me get this all right. Now it's experiencing some issues due to, to friction and various parts. Um, my next step is to figure out how that kind of solve that. But I'll just put this between my legs for a second and show you how it works. Is that it's just pull on this end and it shoots on the back and it extends the first segment and then it should extend the second segment as well. See here's the friction. Uh, still works though. See, now I have the thing fully extended. Now, if I pull on this end, I have the string down at the bottom here. Should retract the entire mechanism. So there's the first stage, and then the friction problems will be the second stage. But it still works. Okay, so the trick here is, is that the mechanism works, the pattern of of the string works to pull it in and out. It's experiencing a lot of issues with friction, with extending, and I'll, I'll show how this works. No, really bad camera filming right now. Apologize. The trick is that the string goes in through the top, and the top of this connects to the bottom of this. Then when you pull on this string, and this is down at the bottom, pulls this, the bottom of this, this to the top of this. Now that's repeated here, but the only problem is is that it goes in the bottom, so I have to get it back up to the top, but I can't just put it in the bottom of that. What I have to do is I have to get it back in and out and then to the bottom of this one. Um, and the problem is coming with this is just when that gets pulled on, pulls down like that on either end. Sorry, on either end, and it just gets caught, um, especially when it's when that is rubbing up against the inside of this. Um, so that's how the system works. On the way down, it's similar, where it's just taking the pulling the bottom of this to the bottom of this, and the bottom of this to the bottom of this. Um, that's the system. I had a fourth stage right there before, except that was really tight between this one and this one and that was that just so yeah friction problems that just straight out ripped um so what i'm looking at here is trying to figure out how to solve that problem and my idea for actually fabricating this out of metal i have um i have space between each of these sections where this is um each section is just slightly um, thinner 
but much shorter. Actually having this slide have a little bit of an out dent and a little bit of an indent on the inside so that they slide on tracks. That way it gives me lots of room between them in, in, one, uh, in one dimension. Hopefully to be able to add like pulleys and make our pulleys here um, that will reduce the effects of friction there. Um, my total goal will be to uh, add a belt instead of a, a string. I use the string for the sake of prototyping to make sure the mechanism works, but I would use a belt because it'll have a higher tensile strength and it will go through the pulleys better, just more reliable system. Anyway, that's what I have so far. I'll be working on fixing it. I just wanted to document my process. Um, never done anything like this before, but I figured if I'm working on a project, I should be able to go back later and see what I've done and reflect on it, um, get some feedback, and if anybody ever asks me about this, and I'm sure if someone else is watching this video right now, it's because I showed them it because they asked about my design, and I want to show sort of my process. I mean, um, this has taken a bit of time. Um, I would not recommend trying to make like all that stuff. That took me quite a bit of time, and I was going to do that because I don't know CAD particularly well, and I just wanted to get the design and actually make an entire system with the entire box just to represent it physically. Um, but that's not working super well for me just because it is a huge project. Those took me uh, three afternoons to finish in its entirety. The second one took much shorter time and it's of much more quality than the first one which is a little bit shabbier but um, for prototyping next time I'm definitely just going to be working on this mechanism which I just did this afternoon fairly quickly instead of using the hot glue that I use on the inside you can see it because I did a decent job with doing it on the inside with tabs but I used tape for this it doesn't look quite as neat but that's not what prototyping is for Anyway, this video is getting sort of long, so I'll stop it here, but I don't know. Hope this is, this is good.